I know that some of you think that I am a very hairy man. And you are right with regard to that. They say that a man is one of the most civil conformed animals in existence. And you know why man is referred to as an animal? Well, it's because a guy has more of an ability to generate or grow fur on his body than a woman does. Many do not disagree with me there. I know I have came across a few women with more hair than I have, but that was on the seldom of an occasion. <laughs> yeah, women believe that to be true, undoubtedly, because they refer to guys as dogs. And there are some guys that couldn't understand why. Yeah, I've heard guys say, why do women refer to us as dogs? It's not like we're down on all fours, crawling about and barking out strange noises. It's not like man eats his meals on the ground out of some tray or drinks water that way as well. You know, first impressions and last impressions are very impressionable. Now, if someone sees a person walking around with a lot of fur right here and up here and under here and under here and down there, then they're going to come to the logical conclusion that that person is an animal. And that doesn't mean that that an animal has to be something barbaric and savage, which would make it impossible to deal with or handle. But nevertheless, an animal is still an animal, regardless of how properly trained it is or well-behaved it appears to be. Yeah, it's not so bad though. There are worser things in life than having a higher fur complement And in the wintertime, it can keep the cold air off.